I'm now about to mention a name that usually comes above the title because he's won six Oscars as writer and director of such movies as The Lost Weekend, Sunset Boulevard, and The Apartment. He's had an astonishing total of 21 nominations for such others as Ninochka, Hold Back the Dawn, Ball of Fire, Double Indemnity, Foreign Affair, The Big Carnival, Stalag 17, Sabrina, Witness for the Prosecution, and Some Like It Hot. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the eminent, illustrious, charming, funny, and magnificent Billy Wilder. It uh, says in the Bible, in the fifth book of the New Testament, chapter 20, verse 35, it says there, it is more blessed to give than to receive. I don't believe that. <laughs> uh, here then are the, the, the nominations for this year's Director's Award, and the nominees are Wolfgang Petersen in Das Boot, Steven Spielberg for E.T., the extraterrestrial. <laughs> Richard Attenborough for Gandhi. <laughs> Sidney Pollack for Tutsi. <laughs> and Sidney Lamette for The Verdict. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is your verdict. The winner is Richard Attenborough for Gandhi. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow members of the Academy, without Joe Child and Jake Everts and the National Film Development Corporation of India, the film would not have been made. Without Marty Baum, I would never have been able to maintain my courage. I am totally bowled over by this, and I think an enormous contribution to my holding it must go to Frank Price and Columbia Pictures for their courage in agreeing to distribute it. There are many people I would like to thank, and some of you, some you have already honored. But I would simply say to Sidney Lumet and Sidney Pollock, and Wolfgang Peterson and Steven Spielberg company. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, we're in the home stretch now. Five big movies are thundering to the wire. We've never had a dead heat. So to announce the winner, here is the dazzling, delightful, and delicious Carol Burnett. Um, nominees for the best picture. There were so many wonderful ones. I know it was tough to pick one. So here they are. E.T., the extraterrestrial, a story about the children we all are and the grown-ups we sometimes seem to be. A Universal Pictures production, Universal. Steven Spielberg and Kathleen Kennedy.
producers. Gandhi, the biography of a man who brought pride, dignity, and peace to his nation, and who even today inspires millions of people with undying humanity, an Indo-British Films production, Columbia, Richard Attenborough, producer. <laughs> Missing, the story of a futile search for truth and freedom in a land where such things no longer exist. The Universal Pictures, Polygram Pictures presentations of an Edward Lewis production, Universal, Edward Lewis and Mildred Lewis, producers. See, a human comedy of gender and role playing set in the world of contemporary daytime television. A Mirage Punch production, Columbia, Sidney Pollock, and Dick Richards, producers. <laughs> the Verdict, a story of law and medicine and the human beings caught between them. A Fox Zanuck Brown production, 20th Century Fox, Richard D. Zanuck and David Brown, producers. It should be a five-way tie. Gandhi, Richard Attenborough, producer. Ladies and gentlemen, this should not be a moment for regret in any sense, but I have to say that I have the regret that my late partner, Moti Kotari, to whom this film was dedicated, is not here to share this award with me. And to his widow, Dorothy and Sharma and Rajni, I send my love and my very grateful thanks for the fact that their father gave me the idea of making this film. Members of the Academy, you have honored, you have seen fit to honor a number of people who have been connected with this film. Jack and Ben and Billy and many others. And with, particularly without Jack and Ben, there would have been no movie. But I'm sure that they would agree that the person whom you really honor, as ben, ben suggested, was Mahatma Gandhi himself. He was an inspiration to millions and millions of people. And the extraordinary thing always seems to me that he is currently still an inspiration. Your great folk hero, Martin Luther King Jr. was inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. Lakwalesa, that noble Polish patriot, came out of prison the other day and said that what he had been attempting to do in the past was not going to work. The only way in which we could have find human dignity and peace was through the philosophies and teachings of Gandhi. Gandhi simply asked that we should examine the criteria by which we adjudge the manner of solving our problems. That surely in the 20th century, we human beings searching for our human dignity could find other ways of ultimately solving our problems than blowing the other man's head off. He begged us to re-examine that criteria. He believed that if we would but agree, simplistic though it be, that we would not resort to violence in the ultimate, then the route that we would take in solving our problems would be a quite different one to the one that we accept now 
in the acceptance of ultimate confrontation. He begged us to re-examine that criteria. I believe he had something to say to all of us everywhere in the world. And dear colleagues, in all truth, because the films that were nominated with me all wished for the same thing, all their makers wanted to say the same thing. And in all truth, it is not me, or even Ben or Jack or Billy, that you truly honor. You honor Mahatma Gandhi and his plea to all of us to live in peace.